welcome back to my channel! Woo! So I was thinking that I haven't showed you guys um, my cleaning products in a long time. I forget the last updated like cleaning product video that I showed you guys, but it's been a while, at least a year or two. So I thought I would just show you guys everything that I used to clean with in my whole entire house, which means all the cleaning stuff that I have on hand. Okay, I wanted to zoom you guys in a little bit better so you guys could see a little bit better. Sorry about this setup. I gotta figure out a new setup and like how I wanna position the camera and all that fun stuff. But for right now, this lighting is the best in my house because of the plastic being on my bedroom window still. I can't film my room anymore, which I miss. But this is the best lighting in the house, so this is what you get. The first thing that I'm going to just randomly show you guys, this is the Dawn dish soap that I'm currently using, that I've currently been using literally for like probably two years <laughs> or more. Like this is the kind that I like. It's just the original and actually this come from Costco. My grandma goes to Costco and she always gets me a thing of this. So this is the Dawn Ultra Platinum Advanced Power for tough food fighting, powers away, uh, 48 hours stuck on food in seconds. This is really good Dawn soap and it's it's my favorite. Plus I just like how at Costco you can just buy everything in like bulk. So you're getting a lot more of the product and you don't run out as fast. This lasts me literally forever. So I love this soap. I actually have another big thing of this underneath my sink. So I did get down to like this much. I don't even know how long I've actually had this guys but this is lasting me forever in a day. So I do love that about Costco. Um, but yeah, that's what I wash my dishes with and what I wash my countertops with every single week. So, um, the next random thing I got here, which I've showed you guys my, um, homemade solutions that I have made to clean glass and to dust with. So a lot of you guys might find this familiar for me talking about it so much. But for those of you that are new to my channel and want to know, like, what it is, I'll just go ahead and re-explain and tell you guys what it is. So this one, I get them mixed up. I should label them. Okay, yeah, it's definitely vinegar. <laughs> this is the vinegar water that I dust with sometimes. I don't always, I don't dust out front with vinegar water because my husband is not a fan of vinegar water and I know like a lot of people do not like it. It's, it's just kind of, you know, to be honest, it smells kind of gross. And my husband, my husband thinks it smells like a douche and <laughs> some other people might think the same thing because I've had a few comments of people saying, ew, use vinegar water, it stinks. And, uh, and some people think that. For me, it doesn't bother me. I clean another lady's house with it and it don't bother me. So I, it does a really awesome job. It literally cleans anything. That's one thing I like about vinegar water. So that's all that's in this. And my other homemade solution is what I use to clean glass with. It's awesome. It's literally just ammonia, rubbing alcohol, and just one little drop like little drop of the Dawn soap and that's it you it doesn't leave any smears on the glass which I find Windex does I've used Windex I use it at um, a few of my people's I use it at yeah I use it at a couple of my people's house that I clean for and sometimes when I'm cleaning with it I notice that it'll just kind of be it'll leave like smear marks if I'm not like careful about it. It's just like a certain, I don't even know guys. Honestly, I've just noticed that though, that it does smear sometimes. Like not all the time. Sometimes it looks really good, but when you have your own solution to make it home, I also find that it lasts a lot longer. So that's what I love about this. And honestly, after discovering this, I probably won't go back to buying store-bought glass cleaner just because I like this the best and I think it works the best. So that is that. And Alright, so now I just got a bunch of random crap left here, but I'll just go ahead and um, talk to you guys about uh, this random one in front of me. This is called the Mean Green Mildew Destroyer, and this kills mildew, clean soap scum, and you can use this in your kitchen and for your bathroom. I like to use this on my um, dish holder, is that what you call that thing? A <laughs> dish holder rack for after I wash my dishes, you know, and then I set my clean dishes inside of that white thing on my countertop, which you guys have seen in my videos, my dish holder. Um, I like to use this on that whenever it starts getting that, like, um, kind of orangey color, which is mildew. And if the, from the water just kind of sitting on it, it will build up after a while and just kind of start looking all nasty. 
but I can just spray this stuff on there and then I just take like my paintbrush and get down in like where the silverware goes and it just takes that stuff right off like I love this stuff it works great for mildew and I also use it in my shower because in my shower and in the drains especially in my shower drains get all mildewy and gross I like to use this it, it is awesome so and it's really cheap it's like really affordable it's not that much I think I bought it at the dollar store or Walmart but um, it's really easy to find and it's really really good stuff I do recommend it is kind of a little strong so if you're I would recommend using gloves obviously um, with like any kind of stuff that has bleach in it or that just kind of like is overpowering maybe to get one of those masks and wear because some of this cleaning stuff can get overpowering and um, yeah obviously if you have children I've said in previous videos I do not have kids but if I did I think I would definitely switch some of my products out for safer products to use so I just wanted to clarify that that this stuff works for me and I know not everybody will like all the stuff that I use but I this video today is just to share with you guys what I'm currently using and what I like and what suits me so this is once again I feel like in every video it's all my opinion and my preference so I just wanted to clarify that but the next thing that I'm using in my bathroom I love this I actually have it at another lady's house I clean for and that actually um, got me to buy it for myself because I liked it. Um, this is the Clorox disinfecting bathroom. It says it's bleach free so it doesn't have bleach in it which I thought it did until I read that the other day and I was like oh wow it don't have bleach. But I actually thought it did but it don't. And it's really really good. I even like the smell of it. It just smells clean and it does a really good job. It powers through soap scum. I use this to clean my sinks in my bathroom and you can obviously use it for your showers, commodes, whatever you want to do it with. I do sometimes use it around the rim of my commode and stuff if I don't use the wipes which I'll talk about in a minute but um, yeah I love this stuff. So now I'll just, I'll just go ahead and talk about the wipes that I use which I've showed you guys these before but this is just the Walmart brand of the lemon scent which I think smells really good and you get 35 wipes in there. It kills bacteria which is what I like viruses all that kind of stuff you can literally use these on not just bathrooms but it says kitchen surfaces children's rooms bathroom surfaces telephones and computers so these wipes are great for just pretty much anything that you might feel that has germs on it I like to use them around the toilet rim sometimes and then I'll just like dry the rim with a, uh, I also use like these dry cloths that this lady gave me that I use at her house too and they work wonders that way you're saving on paper towels and you don't have to use paper towels and throw them away I'm getting freaking hot so I'm gonna take this coat off now home for my mom's and it was like it's like 70 degrees outside today but it was chilly in my house and I guess I just suddenly got warmed back up again so now I'm sweating over here but <laughs> Yeah, so the next thing I'll go ahead and tell you guys about since we're talking about bathroom stuff is this um, Clorox cleaner. Uh, this is the Tulip Bowl cleaner. I really like this stuff. It's a bleach gel, so it has bleach in it. Once again, not everybody's preference, but I like it. I feel like it gets everything clean and it's just sanitizing. Plus, it kind of smells good. <clears throat> Another one of my favorite Tulip Bowl cleaners is the Lysol brand, but I don't have that one right now. This is what I currently have because this... I. I think they're the same price. I think they're only like $2 or something, but the Lysol ones smell even better than these. So the Lysol is my favorite, but this is just what I'm currently using, and I like these just as well too. One good thing about this kind is that when you put it in your toilet bowl, um, after you're scrubbing the, the commode inside, it gets all like foamy, and it just, just feels like it builds up a nice, clean consistency. I don't know if that even makes sense or, you know... I don't even know but that's just one of the reasons why I like it plus it kind of smells good um, but what I was gonna say is that there I have noticed that I, I tried this one tool bowl cleaner one time that was called uh, the works tool bowl cleaner um, there's a couple different kinds the one I think if you get the kind that's like a bleach gel I think it was kind of okay but then there was this one that I used and it was just like water and it was just, it did not, it sucked. I hated it so bad. And I think one of the ladies that I cleaned for bought it for me one time. And I hated it so freaking bad. So I'm glad that, the, like, she don't buy it anymore. But it wasn't very good in my opinion. 
Um, so this here is a shower cleaner. This is by the brand Scrub Free. This stuff is amazing. If you guys are having a hard time getting soap scum off the showers, and I know that especially if you don't clean your shower like every single week, which let's be real, okay, some of us don't do that every single week. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't clean mine every single week just because it's just me and my husband and I shower in my shower and he showers in his shower. We don't really get them dirty other than our hair and I clean that out normally if I see hair in there. But I try to clean our shower like every other week so I don't do it every single week but if you keep on top of it, all you got to do is spray this stuff in and walk away from it and that's what it says but I don't do that but I like to take my magic eraser by Mr. Clean or the off brand whatever it doesn't matter they all work the same in my opinion and these are I cannot live without these these I have to have to clean my showers it just makes everything a lot easier and yeah also use them at the people's house that I clean for it's just a lifesaver your shower stays perfectly clean and this also has a really good scent to this so this does not stink doesn't have bleach in it and it says it's scrub free which means you can literally spray it on leave it set rinse it off and walk away but I just like to kind of take this over it after it's on there for a little bit and it works great so I cannot stress enough about this. I think you can find this at Walmart. I know for sure I think Walmart has this. And um, yeah, it's great. So the next, great, good job Brennan. The next, so the next thing that I'm in love with, and this is just because of the type of shower that I have in my bathroom, the bottom of the shower, which I talked about it before, is kind of like hard and um, bumpy. It's like a, got a really like hard, like bumpy consistency. I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's just rough feeling. It's not like smooth like most showers are. So this stuff does really good to get down in those bumps. All I have to do is like get my shower wet, leave this stuff on, then kind of um, foam it up in the shower, and then just leave it sit while I go clean something else. And then I come back and rinse it off and my shower is like white. So um, this stuff is amazing. Also, I have used this in my toilets a few times. Yes, it has bleach in it. So this stuff I do not recommend using unless you have rubber gloves. I do use rubber gloves when I'm messing with this because it's pretty strong. But it works. I cannot stress enough. And it's I think it's only like $2 or something. So it's like really affordable too. But it works. And I like it. So... It also says you can use it in the kitchen sinks, which it does an awesome job on the kitchen sink too. Let me just tell you, it does a really, really good job with that. Um, the bathroom sinks, toilets, and showers. So yeah, it says it's tough on stains, but gentle on your surfaces. Love this stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the more random things as far as like, here's what I like to dust with. It's Pledge. And Pledge is like my favorite brand of dusting. I've used like cheap brands, you know, and it all really works the same. But the Pledge to me just seems to be better and it smells good. This is the lemon kind. I do like lemon and you guys will notice that here. After I tell you guys the floor cleaner that I use, you'll be like, yeah, she must like lemon. I like the lemon scent and my lemon wipes. <laughs> yeah, I like lemon. Um, not so crazy about the taste of lemon flavored things, but I do like the smell of it. And there's another one that I really like too, and it's the orange scent, and I think you can get that at Lowe's, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if Walmart has it, but Walmart also has a few other brands, or a few other different kinds that I've tried of this, and I've liked them all, so Pledge is like really good. It's kind of expensive in my opinion, it's like $4 and some for this little can, but I mean I like it, it works good, it makes everything really shiny, which is my favorite part, because I like shiny stuff, so yeah. Um, so now on to what I mop my floor with, which you guys, most of you guys probably know. But like I said, I'm making this video mainly for new people that just joined my channel. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, this is the Pine Saw Multi-Surface Cleaner and Deodorizer, and this is the Lemon Fresh. Pine Saw is my favorite floor cleaner. And yeah, I've just, I mean, I've only tried, I think... Two floor cleaners besides my Bella Wood, which I didn't get to show you guys down here. I'm actually going to take you guys over and just show you guys like what I use above my um, washer and dryer in a minute. 
and it's up there but um, this I use to mop my linoleum floors in my house my bathrooms in my kitchen and I just love the small pine saw I can't get enough I don't really I'm not crazy crazy about the original pine saw I mean I can I use it at one of the people's house I clean for and it smells good and everything but I'm more into the lemon one and I like the uh, the orange one if they even still make that one the orange was my favorite but I can't really find that one anymore so I don't know if they discontinued it but I love pine saw it's just it's like it's so strong smelling but it smells clean and it smells good like my mom doesn't actually like pine saw she uses Mr. Clean, I think, which I've used it before too, and it smells good too, but this is actually a little cheaper than that, and I just, it works better for me, like, I like it better because it smells stronger or something, but, um, the next thing I like to use on my cabinets and on hardwood floor, this is amazing, this is called Murphy's Oil Soap, and it just, it does a really good job. It also kind of has a nice smell to it too, it's kind of different, but it's not like a bad smell. And then for my oven, I use just the Great Value Fume Free. Um, obviously, the one that's got like fumes in it, the Easy Off, I think, would probably work better than this one. But if you're looking for something that's fume free, I think this does a pretty good job. So that's what I use for my oven. And now I'm going to move you guys over to the washer and dryer and show you guys what's like TMI, you know, like I'm just showing you guys everything in my house that I use. Like this is. Yeah, give me a thumbs up for that because I'm just literally showing you guys like everything that I used to like clean with. So here is my laundry basket of course. Over here, this is the current thing that I've been into using for my um, clothes. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is the Arm & Hammer brand and it smells pretty good. And me and my husband like it just fine. To, to me, I'm not particular about laundry soap. So I find that being nice considering that it's really expensive. This here is, I think is only like 7 bucks or something like that. It's really not that expensive. You get a shitload of uh, detergent in here. It says 100 loads for $7. Like that's pretty good if you ask me. And um, over here this is my favorite freaking fabric softener at the moment. I love this. This is the Snuggle. I do like the Downy too. I have used it. But I do, for some reason, the Snuggle to me smells so good now I think my mom doesn't actually like the snuggle but I do like I think it's so so fresh and so good smelling and over here this is like I have some leftover tie that someone actually gave me so it wasn't like it's kind of old actually so it's kind of clumpy and I have to like break it up when I use it which I don't really like but obviously Tide is like big time you know but Tide's expensive in my opinion and so is Gain. It's all expensive. And if you're looking to save money, I do really recommend the Arm & Hammer. And, you know, not everybody might not be able to use it or something might be allergic to it. But I like it a lot. And so does my husband. Um, these are my all-time favorite dryer sheets. I bought a big freaking thing of them because I use them every time I do clothes. And I love these. They keep the static out of your clothes. They um, just make everything smell good, too. And they, they're awesome. These are the Bounce brand. It's my favorite kind. So I get those and up top we have my Bella Wood floor cleaner which I used to do my hardwood floor and you can get this at Lumber Liquidators and it does a pretty good job but now that I discovered that vinegar water will do the same thing I'm not going to purchase this anymore after I'm done because I'll be saving myself some money. And I'll just go ahead and show you guys up here because it's nothing real exciting but I got some bleach up here. Mean Green Super Strength. I like to clean this when I'm doing our tennis shoes. Sometimes I'll take the Mean Green and clean our shoes. It does a really good job. Um, I got some. This actually I forgot to spray this on my couches today after I was done cleaning. Gonna have to go do that. But I made this myself. It's just fabric softener and water, and you can use it as like you're using like for breeze or a fabric refresher is what it's really for. And I spray it on my couches after I clean every week, and it smells really good. I got some ammonia, rubbing alcohol, and then here's some more Mean Green just in a smaller bottle. And then this is what I like to use for the stains in my clothes. It's awesome. I don't think I'll use anything else because I really like this. And I need to get some more because it's about empty. So, I think that that is everything. <laughs> 
that I use to clean with in my house. I think I might have missed something other than like obviously the cloths and stuff that I use which are microfiber. I use a paintbrush sometimes to do little things with. Toothbrush in my dishes is really good and is there anything else I want to tell you guys? You guys know I have a shark vacuum cleaner. Um, I might have missed something. If I missed anything or if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll let you guys know. I feel like I did miss something or forgot to tell you guys about something, but that's mainly what I use to clean. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's kind of long, but give me a thumbs up anyways and be sure to hit that red button down below and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week and I hope you guys have a great weekend. It is my mom's birthday today actually and I was going to start the weekend vlog so I'm going to go do that so be sure to check out my vlogs as well. Requests, I would love for you guys to leave them down below. I want to do a Q&A very very badly and I so far I think I have four questions so I need about six more questions from you guys and I can do a Q&A for you. Yeah I think it's six more because I was trying to think I wrote down all the questions that I had, but I really want to do a Q&A, and some of you guys have been so kind to leave me questions, and I'm really excited to be doing my first Q&A. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.